Steve Weiss with Concept2 Solutions. Thank you, Kirsty. I appreciate it. And once again, I am Steve Weiss from Concept to Solution. I'm a business consultant, and that's generally what we do. We're interested in providing a, an overall solution. We're a solution integrator, provider with the hardware, working with Auto as a partner as well. And we actually make the software that pulls all of this together, do the installations, provide the support, and really the project management aspects of all of this. And Container MTR is the name of the total solution. It's for Managed Track Report. And it's really not rocket science. There's three different aspects to the solution that we really cover. Obviously, we meet with a customer and we look at their trucks and we understand the specifications of those trucks. There's various types of trucks. And we're very familiar with the different types and how we solve the issues with those specific options. Then there's an office piece that resides on a server. It's a web-based interface, has a SQL Server database underneath, very clean, very lightweight. And then the final piece is for field operations. That's really for tag commissioning, as, as Kirsty described, and also for mostly work order management in terms of repairs for CART. Well, let me go ahead and, and identify the major components first in terms of the truck operations. At the center of all of this, you have a rugged Motorola reader, an RFID reader that's mounted in the cab out of the way. It also is speaking to an in-vehicle computer. Those are your two major components. Those things are powered from the truck directly through an inverter. So we take the DC power and convert to AC power for those things. And then we have an antenna that's actually connected to the Motorola reader. Those are mounted in the truck bay, at the top of the truck bay, out of the way of where the trash is dumped. And of course, in the cart, you already have, a, we use a laminated alien squiggle tag. And then finally, the truck is also outfitted with a GPS antenna. So all of these components in the truck are going to work together to provide a solution. Now let me cover kind of how things go and how things work for you at the truck level. First, let's follow back to where the RFID tag is in the card handle. And you can see here, this is from Hattiesburg, and that's a side tip truck. And as that cart is raised, it comes over the actual side of of the bay, and the antennas are mounted there at a specific angle. And what we do is we actually tune or attenuate the power and adjust the angle of those antennas such that the cart that is raised is the only tag that is being seen. So, so we do not get multiple reads for any of the carts that are left on street side. And this, in this application of RFID, we get a 100% tag read with no confusion. At the moment that the antenna powers, it actually powers the RFID tag and gets a response, we capture the date and time and the actual GPS coordinate and isolate that into a database. So as the truck is moving along in its routes, or it maybe picks up a couple of carts at a particular address, each one of those reads is isolated and tracked with respect to the GPS, the date and time stamp. Now, the onboard computer can run in a batch mode and record all of this and offload its data to the office side of the solution when it gets back to the uh, let's say the dump area or wherever where there's a Wi-Fi hotspot. We also have an ability through a wireless wide area network to communicate real time with the office application. So this is how things generally work at the truck level. And then this is the heart and soul of the operations back at the office. And there's a number of things that we have in terms of capabilities here. The first thing is that the office side of this is managing the containers. So we know every container. We know which containers belong to which addresses. And the collection data from all of the trucks 
on all of the routes is maintained. So we have an ability to track and manage all of that. Further, we have an ability to identify all of the trucks that are in use and outfitted with the solution I described previously. And we have an ability to assign addresses to routes and trucks to routes. So in that regard, we're managing routes and understanding which trucks are going on which routes and covering which addresses. Obviously, we have an ability to report on any one of these, and you're going to see some of those formats for the reports later on as Hattie, Hattiesburg actually describes the solution implemented there. And as soon as you go into a Wi-Fi hotspot, or if in fact you're at real time, there's automatic data uploads. The other thing that the office component does is it's the main center and repository for work order management and scheduling of repairs that go on. So let's talk a little bit about that side of things with the field operations. Now in Hattiesburg, what they have is, you know, we have rugged, really rugged uh, handhelds from Motorola. It's a 9090 that we use. And that allows the actual a different, let's say, uh, truck to go out and solve or repair carts that get damaged either through a car hits it or a truck hits it or whatever else that goes on. Also, as the truck is making its route, they may note or find some of that, and they have an ability also to note that there needs to be a repair. So typically, the number of handhelds that you require is less than the total number of trucks. It depends on how many total customers you have and thereby the frequency of repairs and scheduling work that needs to go on. The other thing that happens is that handheld is also synchronized either through a batch or through real-time operation. 